Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 with Zombies Always Running. We are now on episode 112. Now, in the last episode, we had the uh, day 112 horde, actually, uh, coincidentally enough. There you go. And uh, since then, we've had a castle building live stream. Now, um... I've decided that instead of going ahead and doing a little speed up of the build, because last time it kind of failed and I'm not sure why and I don't want that to happen again. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what we did during the castle build. So essentially, we did a lot of work on castle 2. And you can see now that most of the battlements along the top have now been done. So this is probably the uh, the most time consuming part of the job, was actually getting these battlements all sorted out. So you can see now that all of those are now done. Uh, there's still some up the top of these towers because we still have to extend the height. And the same around this little roof area as well. But all the battlements around the outer walls have been completed. Now, uh, we've also gone ahead and raised the height of this area as well. So you can now see that this is looking a little bit taller than it did before, which is awesome. So we've actually gone ahead and uh, built some extra stuff. So I'll go and show you what we've actually gone and done inside here. So hopefully the fog is going to clear a little bit so it clears up a bit. There we go. So uh, in the uh, in the last uh, main construction episode, we kind of built the uh, the Great Hall. So uh, Gingy's Great Hall, right? Right here so we've done that bit now and uh, that's pretty much good to go i still need to add some stuff up there which i probably will do uh very soon but what we've got now is this little bit here we now have a staircase now you can see that there's iron and stuff up here this is not quite complete yet so yeah don't uh don't take this as a completed thing because this will be this will be hidden once i've done all the stuff that i want to do with this it's all going to be hidden and you won't even know uh that half of this stuff is there so up here Again, this is all incomplete. We've made a start on the upper floor. So you can see that we've got a corridor going here. Now, it's pretty much uh, the same shape as the lower floor in order to preserve as much structural integrity as I can. Because honestly, there's not much structural integrity in this build. There's uh, a big room there, which we're going to be doing stuff with. You can see that the iron's, again, running around the outside. There's a big room here, which we're going to do something with. There's like a door to an area over here. Again, I'm going to do, be doing something with that, most likely, I'm sure. And uh, over here, uh, we started work on the uh the grand chamber so this is uh this is where the uh the royalty would uh obviously sleep now we haven't done much in here we haven't decorated it too much but i'll go and show you what we've done let me turn the light off for a little bit of uh actually no, i'll keep it on because it's a little bit dark so what we've gone ahead and done is uh we've gone ahead and made this this is the uh the main grand chamber and you can see that we've got a door in here we got this uh little lighting lighting thing kind of here it looks uh looks a little bit clunky as you guys are saying in the in the stream it's uh but it's the best we can do to get some extra light in here and have something kind of lantern -like like and a little bit different um and you guys are saying maybe we should have like some item storage in there and have it as like a case which we could do um to store our valuable stuff in there there's a couple of uh, gaps in the corner that we need to uh light up a little bit and uh sort out something there so maybe we could have some like storage around here um and then we've gone and, ha and built ourselves another fireplace we need to get some grates in front of that as well and over here is uh the chandelier thing right here and this is where the main uh bed will be now that's behind here as well we've gone ahead and made like a little dressing area and over here i've gone ahead and got like my best approximation of a big mirror so it's not very reflective but it's my approximation of what a, a big mirror would look like so overall it's looking pretty good and this is what we spent most of our time on it actually took us surprisingly nine hours to get all that done it was absolutely nuts like the amount of time that it took for us to to build this upper layer because there were so many there were so many things that we had to do to the uh, to the walls and things like that so we had a lot of building that we needed to do now what i want to work on today then is um we've got a few sections that we could potentially work on including areas in the outer village still um and there's also some, some other areas here that i haven't uh, gone ahead and done and i think what i want to do is i want to work on uh this one here for uh for daredevil 77 because this this one is what i need to work on uh we still got uh quality gaming pan b uh we got jen redneck pound too loud and lone survivor all to all to work on as well we still we still got all those guys to do as well uh don't worry guys we will be uh addressing your stuff very very soon but yeah i think i want to do uh wild rages one today just to see how this is going to work so i'm going to need a few things right the first thing i'm going to need to do is you know what? i'm just gonna i'm just gonna drop this glass because actually no, I, should, I should probably store it somewhere okay so I'll, I'll store it somewhere i'll store it in my boxes we're gonna need to go on a mining run as well but i'm gonna do that off camera because you know i will uh i'll not subject you guys to the sheer amount of mining that we need to make something this huge because trust me i've been i've been needing to mine several times i've actually needed to go out on a gas run as well so yeah there is uh there is that we need to we need to go out on gas runs and all that stuff as well so i guess i'll put the glass and the iron stuff in here um for now that's my uh 
Yeah, that's, that's my iron building blocks. Those are my grates. I need to put those in front of the fire as well. I got 16 of them. That's plenty. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go. Do I have a miscellaneous? Uh, okay, building materials. That'll do. Let's put the let's put the things in there that we don't quite need right now. So we can put that away. I've got some tallow as well. I'm going to see if I can make some more torches because we're going to need some of those. Let me bring that down there. That can go in there. And let's go ahead and put... Actually, let's let's go ahead and grab more of the same type of wood building blocks and things like that. Just so that I've got a little supply. There we go. So we've got a bit of a supply of wood and things like that. So overall, doing pretty good. Now, the thing is, if I run out of wood, I've got plenty of trees around the place to chop as well. So the, running out of wood is no longer a worry. We're going to be absolutely fine in terms of our wood supply. Because we've got an absolute ton of it, guys. So that's uh, not a worry at all. My main worry now is uh, the cobblestone. I'm not sure. Did I keep up any on the workbench? I don't think I did. Let me just have a let me just have a quick look in here. See how much I've got. Yeah, so I'm I'm out of stone completely, so I need to go and get some more of that. I need some more gravel as well, so yeah, that's that's the thing that I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Well okay, let's see. How much gas do I have here? I have like nine hundred and fifty gas. I've got an auger here as well. Do I have repair kits? I do. Right, you know what? Um, again, my mini bike has gone missing again. I have no idea where the thing has gone. But I think initially what I want to do is actually get myself some... Uh, I want to get myself some gravel and things like that because I want to complete some of the pathways in here. Man, it's really foggy. This reminds me of Alpha 14 fog. Look at that. That is really foggy. Now, uh, as you guys know, Alpha 16... Um, has dropped an experimental right now. So uh, you guys have been having fun playing that. And uh, I've, I've pretty much said quite clearly that I'm not going to be doing any uh, Let's Play series on Experimental Branch because, you know, I want to get my main series finished. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important that we finish. You know, we spent a lot of time on this and it's very important that we get this uh, that we get this all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, quickly, find a, quickly find some gravel patches. I mean, there's one like right there, but I'd rather find one a little bit further away. Uh, let's have a look. Where can we go? There's one... There's one like by this house up here. Let's go over there. So I'm going to go to this gravel patch over here. I'm going to do a little bit of mining. I won't be too long and I'll be right back. And we're going to start on a couple of uh, build projects. So let's see how much gravel I can get luck out with. And then we'll be right back and we'll continue from there. Alrighty guys, I am back and I have gravel, which is awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead really quickly and start going and uh, digging out the rest of the pathways that I want to make around the castle. Because most of the stuff around this village is now all built up, so we're ready to essentially get some pathways put straight under here. So let's start digging those out and see, uh, see how we go. Now, this side of things here... I'm not sure how we're going to do with the path. I think we should be okay to just take that bit and then go from there. As long as I just don't get rid of that one directly under the flagstone, we should be good. And then I won't cause the whole building uh, to collapse because that'd be bad. So let's try not to do that. Let's uh, go ahead and dig this out here. And then I'm just trying to think how to smooth this out a little bit. I could kind of bring this out a little bit there. And then we could have that coming in one extra layer. That should be nice. Right, let's go and start digging these sides out as well. And then we can get this at least this first part of the pathway all done. Okay, yeah, that shouldn't... I'm just trying to see what's going to cause collapse and what's not. Okay, then no, that shouldn't cause collapse because it's not really supporting anything. So let's go ahead and dig that out. Excellent. Right, so now you can see that I've got a load of gravel being uh, cooked up in here because I, I knew I'd need a lot. So let's go ahead and uh, start putting this down. And then we can start making the pathways between all the little sections in the castle. And then, of course, we're going to have to flatten it off with some frames again because it looks like the, uh, old, uh, the old arching of terrain is coming back. So we're going to have to... Do a little bit of flattening work on that, but I think we should be okay to do that. So then we're going to put one there just to kind of make the path go a little bit smoothly into that bit. And yeah, to round it off, actually, let's go ahead and dig that one out right there. And then we'll add a piece in there because that should help make it look a little bit smoother right there. That's looking good. So then we've got this building here, which has now already got a path to it. So everything's looking good at that point there. So I did start to dig a path over this way as well, um, around the farming area. Um, okay, it looks like I've gone ahead and put a dirt block there. So let's get some grassy ground. Even though I've got a ton of this anyway, let's get some more. So grassy ground, let's do that. So 29 of those. So I've still got like 100 gravel uh, being cooked up right now. So what I'm going to do for now is, I, I've probably got enough for a minute. So Let's stop those ones. That's hopefully not going to fill my inventory too much. No, it's fine. And then we can get some grassy ground just to fill in some extra gaps. There you go. So that should be fine. Now, I did want to make uh, I did want to make something else, but I can't remember what the hell it was. But yeah, let's start digging out this pathway as well. We're going to make those. Uh, we're going to make those link up to the other area. So hopefully this is. Uh, I'm not sure where the support is on this side. I think it's. Uh, I think yeah. I think it is on this side. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful how we do this bit. So let's do it. What we'll do, we'll dig a bit, we'll place some, and then we'll dig some more. I think that's probably the safest way to work around this little bit, at least. 
Yeah, there we go. We're... Hey, I'm not... I hate it when that does it. I'm not digging that bit. Come on. Right, hang on. Let's, uh... Let me fix that a second. Um, okay, let me come back to where the fence was, because I seem to have better luck digging from... Okay, hang on. Ah, uh, you silly fence. Right. Let's go from there. And then I should be able to duck down and dig from that side, right? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Then I can go ahead and dig along here. So I'll, I'll replace that in a minute. Now, I'm not sure here if I want a two-wide path or a three-wide path. I'm just trying to think. I think having a two-wide path is going to be is going to be enough on here. Because it looks like... Yeah, it looks like I've already decided. I've started a two-wide path there. So let's go ahead and start doing some more pathing over this way. And that should look pretty nice once we're done. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to do to kind of ornatify this pathway a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and dig this out. And we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna have to do all the digging first, and then any, uh, any ornateness will come a little bit later on. Okay, so what I'll do actually is I'll dig this layer out here, and then I'll go and replace it with gravel on the inside. So let's do this all in one go, and that should be pretty nice. And at least the farm has like a pathway in front of it as well, and that should look pretty nice. So there we go. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I decided we'll dig this way like this, and then we'll replace all the gravel here. And that should work a little bit better. So let's start doing that. So, oh, it looks like there's actually some gravel like right under there, which is pretty cool. Right, so let's go ahead and start doing that. And then we're going to keep going back and replacing some more. So let's go ahead and take this down. So six and then seven should be like that. Okay, cool. That works. And then we can go ahead and fill the rest of those in. And lo and behold, we'll have a pathway. I need to uh, smooth it out again. What I don't get is when I, when I put this on, why it goes like not smooth again? Because like some of this ground I've already smoothed out, and then it seems to it seems to remove it, it seems to remove that kind of smoothness that, that goes on there. Which I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Right. So let's get some frames as well. So I got like one frame. Let's get another 30 frames or something, just so I have some uh, smoothing material. And I should be able to do that. So 30 frames that loop and then we can go ahead and put that one piece of grassy ground uh what was that there, there was a gap somewhere around here i recall um or at least i thought there was uh yeah right there we can put that one piece of grassy ground there and that'll that'll flatten out everything there and then i can get some more gravel on the go for later as well so let's uh do that so more gravel off you go that should hopefully get rid of all the excess in there and then i can get some more yeah, more gravel, more ground. It's always good. So let's go and get some more grassy ground. So there you go. More gravel, more ground. There we go. So we got that done. And we are now ready to continue getting some pathing done. So that's that's working good. Let's go and see if we can at least smooth out a little bit of the path that we just made. Because, yeah, these, uh, these frames, I'm not sure what's going on with them. So we're going to go ahead and put these down because you'll see that it actually smooths out the path that you can see. As I'm putting them down the terrain around it is smoothing. So that'll make it look a lot nicer for when we want to do stuff here. There we go. That's better. And I think there's some a little bit of terrain in this section that we just need to sort out. And then there's, of course, this new path over this way that for some reason went... Yeah, that this, this path over here is like really... It's it's got like a, it's got like a raise in it for some reason. I don't know why. So let's go and put these down. And that should smooth the thing out like this. So let's go and do that. There we go. So put that back, and then we've got a few more to do over here, so. Take all those out, and let's be careful not to take the candle out, but that should be fine. And then, of course, these two. There we go. Right, is there any is there any others that I need to smooth out, or is that it on this side? Um, oh, yeah, some here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking very good. Right, let's uh, just run along, make sure it's all smooth. Looks like it's all good. Maybe apart from, like, that bit of ground there. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's all good. So we have smooth pathways going along here. So let's go and have a check and see how the paths are running. Yeah, this is looking good now. So you've got pathways running between there. And then the last thing we need to do is really uh, connect up the, the lower village with some pathing down here. So I'm not sure if we should have... I don't think we're going to need a path around the, around the waterfront here. We should probably drag it from this path over here by the butchers and then we're going to take another we need to take another pathway of course and take it to uh tame Ryu's temple of trees as well so we should do that so let me just uh plan out where i need to dig here just so i've got uh, a record of exactly which blocks i need to dig and then we can smooth it out as well okay so we need to kind of dig all right let's see if i can make this a bit smoother so let's go and try that one and that one and then that one then that should provide a little bit of extra smoothness as we make a pathway up here okay that should work 
Okay. And then we can just go ahead and flatten it. There we go. That'll work. So then we're going to go and dig down here. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, go ahead and do the path for Tamer Rose as well. We'll link that up to the Butcher. We'll have a path coming around the front of that as well. It's a bit digging. I'm not using the organ now because I don't have much gas left. I do want to build a new bike soon as well so I can actually get around to places easier. Because, yeah, as, as uh, my mini bike uh, recently, at least, keeps going missing. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. I don't know if I'm just leaving it around places. It's been quite a long time, actually, since I've, you know, played... Since I've played this part of the game, really, for, for just, you know, doing stuff. So, yeah, it's where I've been uh, concentrating on Salvation a little bit. I have been taking a bit of time off from the main vanilla stuff. But, yeah, we're getting back into that now, just a little bit, so we can go ahead and uh, continue. And hopefully... We're going to get this finished in time for uh, A16, because that would be awesome. Because I cannot wait, guys, to show you uh, A16. Um, I mean, you've already, sure, you've already seen Experimental and stuff like that. and But, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to get into it myself and, you know, get your guys' input. Because you guys are going to know a lot more about A16 than I will, because you guys are, are going to have played it. I might have played it once in Experimental. Um, I might be doing that on the stream at some point. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes, right? Let's go ahead and dig this out here. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to take this pathway over. Right, let's plan how I want to do this. We can probably do... Yeah, we probably want to go diagonally from, from this point, and then we can go... Yeah, I reckon diagonally from that point would work. And then we can kind of feed it along along the ground. It's a little bit hard to see where I'm going with this. Um, so yeah, you'll have to, you have to forgive me a little bit um, and just, uh, just go easy on me. I'm trying. All right. There we go. So then we can go diagonally like this and then come out along here. And then hopefully that's going to link up with something over here. So if we take out the diagonals over this way, we should. Yeah, that should link up pretty nicely, actually. So well, I think I did one too many there. Yeah, I did. I did. OK, that's all right. We can we can sort that. That's the good thing about it's the good thing about some days to die. If you make a if you make a mistake, you just sort it out. It's great. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, grab. I'm getting more and more grassy ground here as well, which is good. Right, I don't need that. Right, let's go ahead and put you down. Right. So hopefully, yeah, that that, sh that looks like it's going to link up quite nicely. If we go diagonal from there. Yeah, that, sh that should link up pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do these and these. And we're going to keep going here. Once I've done this path, guys, I'll do the rest off camera as well. So that then uh, we can go ahead and move on to uh, the, main, the main part of this episode. So that works kind of. Yeah, I probably could have made it go one out, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that'll do. We can do we can do this and then have a path. Yeah, what we can do, we can have a path like that and then have it three wide like this. And then that should be fine for the pathing path because I want to have a path going around the front of this as well because, you know, not necessarily are we going to have to walk through this place to be able to get to where we want to go. So if we have a path around the front, that should make it look a little bit nicer too. Okay, so let's fill in this one, and then what I'll do is I'll go and do the rest of the paths um, off camera, so we can go ahead and get those all done, because that's gonna be awesome if we can uh, if we can finish at least all the pathing, that'd be very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and build these up here, and oops, I oh, damn it, I didn't want to put you up there. Right, come back out here. There you go, and then we can just start building these. I'm trying not to waste gravel, because um, it's it's hard enough to come by. But hopefully that's going to work out pretty nicely. And then all i got to do is flatten the ground. And once I've done that, I will, uh, of course, show you guys the finished result. Okay, that's actually looking pretty nice because it's going along. It's kind of going It's kind of going along the ground there, which is always cool. Okay, how's that looking there? Yeah, so i just got to finish that off, and that's going to look pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. That's looking, that's looking pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and grab the frames. And then we just literally need to do uh, lift flattening, and that should be... All done once we've done that so let's go and start putting those on and that'll at least help to make it I mean I know I guess it looks more natural if it's not flat but some of them some of it is way too hilly to be considered like if, at least in my opinion pathy some of it just seems a little bit too hilly so I'd rather have this flattened and have it looking nice like this so we can do things like that there we go that's looking better so we can flatten this area and then yeah I'll go and dig the rest of the paths uh, Probably off camera. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the rest of the paths off camera because otherwise you guys are going to be seeing me uh, digging past the episode. And I know you guys have been you guys have been absolutely awesome uh, coming into the live streams and, and checking out what we're doing as well and giving suggestions. And you know, I mean, you guys have been watching me dig for hours, and you know, I have to I have to take my hats off to you guys. I mean, 
If it wasn't for you guys um, being there in the streams with me, I don't think we'd have got this done. So this this thing is, you know, although I'm, you know, sitting here building it, this thing, trust me, is a team effort. And it's all thanks to you guys that we're getting so far with this. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that has been uh, that has been watching, tuning into the castle builds. Because, yeah, it's thanks to you guys that everything is uh, going so nicely here. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for all your support. So there we go. That path is now done. And we now have a path to Tamarai's Temple of Trees right there. And yeah, that's looking that's looking like it's working fine. So yeah, all I need to do is link a path to the village and uh, bring a path around the front of here. So I'm gonna be uh, making a little bit of a smoother a smoother landscape around here. I'll be I'll be sorting that out. And uh, then once I've done that, I'll be right back and we can continue doing uh, some other build projects. Alrighty guys, we are back. Now, uh, one of the things that I haven't actually completed yet, which I've been meaning to for quite a while, is these little things here. Now, I know that in the live stream, you guys have been pointing out, dude, there's like a hole in the side of your wall, and uh, I'm fully aware of this. And in the rest of this episode, we're going to start finishing off uh, these little areas, because what I want to have is uh, pretty much some kind of balcony that we can uh, use to shoot from and take care of the zombies, which is going to be pretty cool. So uh, currently, we don't have an area to really um, look out on. We, we can come out here and, you know, do this and this, which it works. You know, we can we can come to here and look down. But other than that, there's no, there's no real way that we can, you know, get a good look outside the tower. Because, like, when we're inside the tower like this, you know, you can see straight ahead, but you can't really see, like, to the sides or anything. So by having this, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have some kind of, uh, some kind of walkway around the thing that's going to also, uh, it's going to work in tandem with these, uh, with these battlements. Now, it will render some of these battlements useless. Like, those ones right above, it's going to render them useless because we can't obviously shoot straight down. But we're going to see if we can come up with a way to uh, make this work and allow us to shoot straight down whilst still maintaining um, you know, while still, main while still maintaining a balcony here that we can stand on. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what we can do here, but I've I've been thinking, and uh, I'm going to see if we can come up with something uh, pretty nice for this. So we're going to get started right away, and uh, the one thing that I need this balcony to be is strong, which means we're going to require cobblestone in order to uh, make it as strong as it could be, because uh, right now, where the way the balcony is structured is... It's not the strongest thing in the world, right? So we're going to go ahead and come back out here. And we're going to go back into Castle 1. And we're going to get ourselves some cobblestone frames and a few other good things. Because, uh, yeah, cobblestone is going to be the way to go at least underneath and around the edges to protect the to protect the, the balconies and things like that. And we, we're going to make ourselves some areas to... We're going to make ourselves some areas to kind of duck under and uh, keep the cops away from... Uh, to keep the cops away from us. Because those are the main concern. The rest of the zombies, not really so much. The cops, though, are the main thing that we need to worry about. So, let's see if we've got any cobble frames in here. Hopefully we do have some. Um, we do have some plates, which is uh, the main the main one that I want is the plate frames. So we're going to be taking those, um, and I could probably make the rest of the frames. I've got some. Those are pillar fifties. Okay, I could probably just make the rest of uh, the rest of the frames for what I need. So plates are the main one that I did need. So then we'll get the rest of those to make um, some extras as well. All right, so I think we are ready to go now. I've got three of these to make, so we're going to go ahead and come up with a design, see how it works, and then we're going to go ahead and make the other ones now. I'm thinking I might just need to drop down there and, and make it from down there. Now this this bit here is also going to be filled with like traps and things as well, just to keep the you know just to keep the zombies out, keep them at range a bit. Um, it's not going to be completely filled with traps, but there's going to be you know a few things there that are going to help to keep them out. So, God, it's, it's been so long since I've been here, guys. I've, I'm losing my way around my own castle. And it's really really foggy today as well, which really doesn't help for you know the the video. But that's you know that's a given. Sometimes we get foggy weather. Right, let's get back down here. And let's find the balcony. Here we go. Right, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we should probably go ahead and do at least the main the main section. At least the main section out of flagstone. Now, this, this as I said, is going to render the, the current battlements useless um, above on the walls there. But this is going to allow me to come out and get a bit of a better view on what's going on here. Now, I don't want to make it too big because I don't. The, the the bigger I make this, and oops, I didn't want to put it either. The bigger I make this, the more of the battlements that I render, the more of the battlements that I render useless. So I want to try and keep it to a minimum if we can. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna try and keep it to a minimum and then go from there. So I think what we're gonna have is this. So how wide is that? That's too wide, right? So that gives me a kind of a good view over the edge like that. 
and then I'm just thinking. I mean, I could make it out of half blocks, but I kind of like the full block look better, and I want a nice area where we can walk on. Now, spiders can get up this and climb up, but that's okay, right? You know what? We're going to hopefully drop down and not break our leg. Yay, we didn't break our leg. Nice. Okay, so this is too wide. No, no, this is three wide, actually, so we are going to make it... Um, we are going to make it one wider then, so we're going to do we're going to do one wider. Like this. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, protect this side of the uh, protect the side of it from cop acid because cops will puke on this and they will damage it. So the best thing that I can the best thing I can do here is go ahead and build these things because this will actually do a good job in protecting at least uh, from the brunt of the cop acid. So let's go ahead and start doing these. So as I said, we're going to make three of these. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make these in this episode. And uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be the stuff that I'm making after. Uh, uh, reckless daredevil so uh hopefully uh, you like it it's not the uh not the most intricate thing that i that i could construct but i'm trying my best I'll, i'm probably gonna do something else for you as well just to just to kind of uh, add to your theme so let's see what we have here so we're gonna get some cobblestone oh it's the cobblestone poles i think is what i want to grab so here we go frame pole let's get like 50 of those i'd rather use um i'd rather use okay 60 is fine i'd rather use cobblestone uh frames over wood since it's gonna have a better it's gonna have a better overall support okay so hopefully that's not gonna cause this to collapse because they are pretty light as far as I'm concerned I just want to like drag it down just to see where it's going okay no that's gotta go one over see this why this why I make it out of poles because then it's a lot easier to tell where these things have to go uh come on one two three okay that's that side done and then we're going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. So let's go and do this side. There we go. Then we can start dragging those down. And then let's do from the bottom, just so we don't cause it to collapse. There we go. So that's the that's the bottom part done there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase the uh, strength of this side by adding some poles underneath as well. So we can add these poles under. Because that, I think that looks, that looks pretty nice as well. We're going to add the poles under. So let's go and do that. There we go. So we can add the poles underneath. And then we're going to go ahead and do... Hang on a minute. Let me come up with the right side here. It's a bit hard to see. Let me turn this off. That'll, that'll make it easier to see. I can't wait to have um, in A16 the copy rotations feature. That's going to be that's gonna be awesome. I've, I've seen it been used in Experimental. It looks very, very cool. Okay. Okay. Um, am I in... Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can go ahead and do now the plates again. So let's go drag the plates back. We're going to use those. And it's going to provide me some kind of overlook so that I can shoot the zombies from. Okay, so then underneath, of course, we're also going to put some cobblestone plates as well, just to add a little bit of extra defensive layer to this little section here. Now, we can't see directly underneath, but that's okay. I mean... We're gonna we're gonna reinforce it so they can't get underneath so easily. So I think that's gonna be a good thing. I mean, what we could do actually, what we could do is build it so that they can't uh, so that they can't get over, and we could even have a little lower section here as well to shoot through, which might actually not be a bad idea because that way they can't get the the one thing that's gonna stop me is if they get underneath, um, and that's gonna that's gonna you know, make this thing a little bit uh, a little bit less useful. So maybe we could go ahead and add some poles and plates around the edge here just to stop them getting under. So we could do something like this. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do something like that, just to stop them getting in. So we can do that one. That one. And this will also help to reinforce the walls a bit. So yeah, we'll do something like that. There we go. So we can do something like this. And then we can do something like this. Oh yeah, I've got an idea what I want to do here now. Yeah, no, this is going to this is gonna be good now I think about it. So what we're going to do, we're going to have this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do... Because this will allow me to get closer to the, the fighting ground as well. So this is actually going to be pretty useful. So let's do... Then we're going to do like a lower down section like this. So then we're going to kind of have that. So then at least the zombies can't really climb over so easily. So they kind of make mini towers. Essentially is what they are. They're, they're just like small towers. And hopefully they look pretty good. 
Let's see how this pans out, shall we? So we're going to build this as well. Because then what this will do is it'll provide me a way to um, stand inside this thing as well and then fight the zombies. And then I have ladder access to down here. So this allows me to get straight down onto the walls, which is going to be really, really handy. So yeah, that's actually that's actually a good idea. So we're going to have like the main balcony that I can shoot from at the top, but then the ladder access, which is going to then give me the extra flexibility there. So we're going to take that out there, and then we're going to put a ladder and obviously take out that block there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start upgrading these. So we should have my nail gun somewhere. Here we go. So yeah, as I said, I'll probably make one on camera, and I'll do I'll do the other two off camera. So once we've done once we've done the first one, got it to to a way that we like it, then I can do the other ones. Uh, I can do the other ones off camera that way then. So then these can be like this. So it makes it makes it look a little bit different, adds a bit of a different texture to it, which I quite like. And it'll provide me some good points of defense from these walls as well. I mean, I know we could have windows and things like that. We got arrow slits, which is a good start. Windows would make a good alternative as well, but I quite like this. I quite like this kind of look for it, to be honest. Because it looks a little bit different. I wish they had flagstone, um, flagstone poles and things like that. That would be that would be the most ideal. But yeah, this will be quite defensible for for uh, cops as well, because that's the one thing I worry about is uh, is the zombie cops, because their spit will just melt through absolutely anything. But yeah, when I hear something coming, then I can kind of get inside here and have a little, have a little look and see where things are coming from, which is going to be pretty useful. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and do these. There we go. And then we can build our way up here. And then let's go ahead and do um, all these things. Okay, yeah, that, that's 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 a good thing. So now the zombies will literally run up here, and they'll have to like beat through one of these before they can actually jump over it, which is going to be really really handy. And hopefully it'll allow me to melee them as well. Um, that is a head height, so it might be a little bit difficult to get them straight in the face. But we might be able to like knock them down a bit, hit them in the legs a few times, which should be pretty cool. And then we can start building out this way. And let's build along there. So it's using quite a lot of cobble, so that should be good. Yep, and then we just have to finish off that side. So that's at least the bottom rung, the bottom area done. And that should provide a nice point of defense that we can come down into and uh, shoot the zombies from. Let's go ahead and push these together. There we go. And another one. And another one. There we go. So that's done. And then we've got these ones. And this one. Okay, how's that looking? Not bad. Okay, that's looking that's looking alright. So now we've got that point done. Then we just have to take out this uh, top one here. And then we can build a ladder to get uh, in and out. So hopefully I can reach that one. Yes, there we go. So then we can have a ladder. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's get a uh, regular ladder. A metal ladder will probably be better. But a wooden ladder will do for now. So we're going to grab one of those, and where are they gone? There they go. So hopefully we've uh, made enough of these to be able to get in and out. So let's go and do that. So we're going to have one, two, three. Um, yeah, I think we've actually made one too many. Which is a good thing. I don't want it right down on the ground level because... Uh, actually, no, you know what? That, that should be a thing. Zombies, if they break through, they should they should be able to compromise. Uh, they should be able to compromise some things. Because, I mean, you know, I get this, this is not really castle-like. You wouldn't really have this in kind of a like a medieval kind of thing castle you never had anything that like links to the ground um and makes it easy for them to get in multiple ways so yeah there's uh but it's, it's more of a thing just because it's seven days and as a zombie defense kind of thing so i think it should i think it should be possible for them to get up but we'll have like a trap door after as well but this that will allow us to then stand in here we're kind of defended from the zombies so we can come out to the edge and now you can see we have a, a, a very good field of view down here so we can come right down and if they're caught on barbed wire and stuff trying to run up to here that's going to be pretty good as well so this actually works uh, rather nicely, actually. I think so. I think it's, uh, I think it's okay, um, and I can actually get up here too. All right, so let's get a hatch on the top of that. So let's go and build one of those. So we'll get a wooden hatch. Craft that thing. There we go. And then we can place you directly on the top. So let's go and do it. Uh, yeah, we'll go and do it that way. There we go. So now we've got a, a point that we can stand out from here and uh, and shoot down from. And we've also got the the hatch down there. So then to finish this off, we're going to go ahead and do some more of these cobble poles up here so let's go and do some of these 
and which is the last side I need. I think it's that side there, right? Yep. So that side there, that side there. And then I can start building these ones out like this. I think this is how I want to do it. Yeah, I think this I think this is how I want to do it. Yep. That looks that looks right to me. Okay. So we're gonna build some of these out like that. And come on, there we go. So this should be pretty uh, good for defending it against uh, Cops Bit as well, which is going to be a nice, uh, a nice little addition to the castle. Because currently, as I said, we've uh, every time a scream has come along or something, we've always had to go outside. Um, you know, we've had to go right outside and see what's going on. But now that we've actually got both layers here, this allows us to to get here. And then if they do get right under, we can just go down and take them on from there. So that's actually uh, that's actually quite a good design. I quite I I quite like that actually. I might be trying that for uh, a subsequent base pretty soon because I think that's actually quite a good little uh, I think that's actually quite a good little design we've got going so we're going to fill those in there we go and there we go now now we have that bit uh, all filled in and we now have an exit onto this side and we can come out pretty much you know we can come out here shoot the zombies as they come through yeah, that's, look, that's looking really good. So, yeah, it's, it's very foggy tonight, isn't it, guys? It's uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off camera, and I'm going to build uh, two identical ones on the other sides. And, of course, I'm going to get myself a few signs um, so that we can go ahead and uh, name it. Now, I think as well, because the zombies can get up here, we're going to go ahead and uh, make a little bit more of a defensible point on the side. So we're going to go ahead and make a door in this section here so then you know the zombies have a they'll still be able to get through but they have a bit of a harder time doing it so that's probably an idea so let's go ahead and do a door uh not a four <laughs> if i can if i can only spell correctly that's the the uh the the woe the woe of my uh the, the woe is me kind of thing it's like i can't spell and then let's go get some arrow slits as well so arrow slits let's get a flagstone one and we are out of room so i need to place my door first um Okay, I need some more flagstone blocks anyway, so let's get a few of those uh, queued up. How many of those can I actually make right now? One, two, seven, eight. Let's get like, let's get 500 because that should clear a little bit of room for me. There you go. Because yeah, I'm going to need a load more flagstone blocks anyway, so I may as well get them pumping out. Right, so then let's put this on the top like that. And then let's grab the door. Wherever that went. Uh, door. Hello. Where'd you go? I have lost the door. Oh, there it is. It's really hard to see these things. There we go. And then we got a door right there. And then we can just upgrade that once. There we go. So now we got a, uh, a door that comes out to the outside here. We got now a point that we can come down into this bit. And you know we could even stand on the ladder as well to get a bit of a better a bit of a better angle over them. So that actually that's actually pretty cool as well. We can actually use ladders to get the uh, to get the angle on the zombies that we need, which which works pretty well I think. So yeah, we've we've got this thing uh, now all done. I think that looks pretty nice. I quite like that, actually. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different looking compared to the rest of the cast. You know, it's, it's cobblestone rather than flagstone. But, you know, hopefully you guys still still like the design of it. And I think it looks, uh, I think it's pretty nice. We'll get some torches down here eventually as well to light up the area um, for now. But I think that's looking good for now. So let me go ahead and make a couple more of these. So I'm going to, uh, uh, of course, jump off camera again. Make uh, uh, the, the exact same structure again. Of course, you guys don't need to see me do the exact same thing three times. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I've been going uh, pretty much all night building the rest of the three outposts over here. So well, they're pretty much exactly the same as this one. I just come back to the first one and then we're going to go ahead and um, head back into our main area because I want to get some torches made so that we can go ahead and start making the uh, the lights for around this uh, castle because castle 2 although it's uh, looking nice it's pretty it gets pretty dark at night and i do want to get some extra light sources around here eventually plus we need to go and get some signs as well so let's go back and start doing some extra crafting get that stuff uh, all done and my character of course is uh you know getting the uh, getting the good old uh, overheating um i'm gonna see if i'm gonna have, see if i can find a shirt or something um a tank top just to cool me down because it seems that my character always overheats in the in the forest i'm not really wearing anything that increases heat let me just have a quick look in here do i have any clothes that will cool me down or do i just not have any that is going to cool me down uh it doesn't look like i do no okay actually i should take those with me why am i not taking those right so we want to go ahead and get ourselves some torches right so that means we're gonna need cloth so i have some here i think that's literally all the cloth i have because i use most of it on the awning stuff so that'll have to do 
Um, well, let's have some more stone then. Let's grab that. Why is that in there? And uh, snowballs? Why, why is all this stuff in there? Oh, I don't know. I've, I, I've so organized it's, it's, it's probably why it's all in there. Uh, but never mind. So, yeah, you've got plenty of, uh, plenty of cloth in here. So I should be able to make a few torches with this. So let's go ahead and, and make a few. Um, so let's go torch, and then let's make as many as we can with that. So I think it's 24. Yeah, 24 torches should be a good number to uh, get placed around. Now I've heard in Alpha 16 as well, torches actually cause heat, which is uh, that's actually quite funny. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how that we're gonna see how that pans out. Let's get some more nails as well, so then I can make some more signs, and then we can get those put up as well. Yeah, that's probably heating my character up as well. I should stand away from that just a bit. There you go. So as long as we don't heat up, heat up too much, that'll be fine. Right, I think that should, that many should be fine. Right, let's get a few signs. Um, so let's do that. So sign, and then we can get um, some one by ones. There we go. So one, I need three of these for now. And then while the torches are making up there, let's go and grab those in hand. And we can go ahead and start putting it done. I hope these, I hope this uh, fog clears soon, because right now it's uh, it's really really foggy. And yeah, ho hopefully that's going to clear. Okay, let's head back into uh, the main area, and we're going to go ahead and start putting these down. So we're going to go in... Do I have a little entrance up this way? I do. Um, oh, it's uh, it's not quite uh, not quite ready yet, though. Yeah, these, these little entrances are not quite done yet, but yeah, they, they will be. Don't worry. Right, let's go ahead and go through this way. Right, so first of all, we're going to get some light on the outside here. So you can see that I've got these here. Again, I will be reinforcing these towers a bit as well. So we're going to add some light sources just outside here, just to, you know, illuminate it a little bit. Get that sorted. And we're not done with the towers yet. There's a couple of other things that I want to do. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't don't think we're done because we're not. <laughs> there's, a, there's there's more. There's the, But wait, there's more. Right, let's go ahead and add that one there and that one there. And that will give me some light down here so I can see what's going on. So if I take out my uh, turn off everything, that gives me a, a fair bit of light down here as well. So that's that's pretty good. So that's looking nice. we got one above them. Actually, I might make the lights um, symmetrical um, at that, about the door. So we'll do that one and this one and then we'll take those ones and those ones that's better yeah let's do that among all three. Oh, and we should get the signs down if we have okay okay this is uh okay so let's go ahead and uh, put the signs up as well um i know usually i have candles here but i think it'll be fine because you've got the torches right here so uh this is after reckless daredevil 77 so i'm just gonna say um i'm just gonna k okay, uh, i'm just gonna call this um what should we call this? Uh, it's out of so it's gonna have the word reckless in it, right? Um, um, I'm gonna call this one. Hang on, which side is this? This is, this is the southern. This side is facing the south, right? Yeah. So this is uh, okay. This is the. Uh, let's see if I can get this in. The southern uh, point of reckless. Uh, defense there we go that works yeah the southern point of reckless defense there we go so that's the that's the first one and uh, let's go ahead and uh do the other do the other ones so let's come around this side let's turn the light on again so you guys can see and let's come out this side and this is going to be the where are we facing right now the eastern okay so we have a have an eastern point as well so hang on where's the door i've i've lost the door i've lost the door that's not good right it's down here here we go so it's always good when 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 I lose, you know, the, the thing that I build. You know, that's that's that's, that's always nice. Um, so let's get the lights in here again. So I'm gonna do these two right there, and let's go down the bottom, and we're gonna do exactly the same. So we've got yeah. So it's pretty much gonna be there with a gap, and then right there. Oh, let me let me up, let me up, let me up. There we go. And then in our thing, we should be able to go ahead and do. Another sign, yeah. Here we go. Another sign, and this one is going to be just the the eastern one. Okay, so this is uh the eastern point of. Hang on, and then it's I'm going to go down of reckless. <laughs> there we go. Defense. There we go. The eastern point of reckless defense. There we go. So that one's done. So we'll put the signs on it, and then I'm going to go ahead and do uh, one last touch to it as well. So let's run down this way. In amongst all the candles, let's jump over there, jump down, and jump in. And then let's go and do this one. It's going to be the northern point of Reckless Defense. So let's go build this one. Right, so we need the sign right there. And that is uh, the northern point of Reckless Defense. There we go. 
because it is pretty reckless what we're doing like allowing zombies to access if they break in so that's actually quite a i think that actually suits the name uh pretty well to be perfectly honest so there we go we got those done we can then put these in here then let's head down a level and let's do the other ladders down here so we got one there and one there there we go. So those three points are now done. Now, we're not actually quite done with this thing yet because there's a couple of other things that I want to add to this. So let's go ahead and get some uh, let's get some catwalks here because there's a couple of other things that I want to do. And let's see if this is... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're, gonna, we're sure as hell going to try it. So let's get... Uh, right, how many have we got here? So we got uh, one, two, three. So we got 14 each. So we're going to need 42 of these catwalks. So let's go and get uh, 42 of those. So 42 catwalks, let's go and build those. Because the other thing we need to do is uh, make this uh, inaccessible to spiders, right? So currently it's not very it's not very spider-proof right now. So I want to kind of work on that as well. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to have it so that we have a roof of catwalks over the top of this thing. Which will provide cover from the top. So spiders can't, you know, climb over the top of the... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to make one more now. Uh, that's fine. Let's go and get rid of that. So yeah, the spiders then can't just walk over the top. And I think that'll look pretty good. So let's go and do that. Yes, uh, struggling to place blocks here. So yeah, I'm going to need one more of those as well. So let's craft one more. Okay, so as, as, I, as I, you know, mess this up, I'll craft one extra. There we go. So then we can do... I think that's it. Yep, so then we can have those over the top. And then we can build up the... Uh, we have some wood poles here. So let's go and grab those. And we're going to start building up this way. Right. Hopefully we're not going to fall off of this thing. Let's, uh, let's hope for the best, shall we? Um, see what happens. So we're going to go and build one, two, like that. And then we're going to do this side. And we're going to do two like this. And yeah, then we're going to have it so that we can stop the spiders just getting straight in, which is going to be the next thing. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do it so that we have the wood around the top like this. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to build some pretty, you know, a pretty basic kind of wood covering on the top of each one of these. Oh, I think I think that is pretty good, actually. I, I quite like that. Okay, let's go and do this. There we go. And then we're going to do, we're also going to do something like this to make it look like it's, because currently it doesn't look like it's been held on. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that on this side, and then we're going to do that on that side. And that should make it uh, look a little bit more held together. Actually, let's let's do a few of these, uh, a few of these beams. So I quite liked uh, how the beams, um, how the beams looked across here. So actually we could do a couple of those. So why don't we do one there, and then we're going to do one there and then we can turn it around and do this yeah that, that's gonna look pretty nice i think so do one there and one there and then we got a bit in the middle how's it looking yeah that's looking pretty cool so now we've got these uh little wooden points of defense right here and uh that will mean that spiders have a bit of a harder time they might be able to they might be able to squeeze through the gaps but hopefully they're not going to be able to um so then the other thing i can do to kind of prevent them is I could have, I could have some extra bars, but mainly what spiders tend to do this is they tend to like climb over and then onto roofs and then come down. So this should be pretty pretty good. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get way too many spiders in the horde. So you know we'll we'll have manageable numbers, which is usually thing. And I mean, if if it does get bad, we can then start adding we can start adding things uh, to each of these as well. So that should be absolutely fine. Yeah, I think that's going to be absolutely fine. So we're going to go ahead and replicate that on each of these other sides as well. So let me go and quickly jump off camera, because then if I do this these other two off camera, then we can go ahead and do um, the last bit in this episode as well, which is another thing we can uh, have for Reckless Daredevil as well. So I, I do want to try and get all of our things done in uh, one sitting if we can, because that would be, uh, be rather good to get that all uh, rounded off. So let's get a uh, some more wood poles, and let's craft those. I've got like 80 of those. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, finish this off camera, and then I'll be right back. 
Alrighty guys, we are back, and all three of these tunnels have now been uh, completed, so uh, you now have the, sorry, the, uh, not the three tunnels, the three balconies, I'm thinking of the next bit already. Uh, the three balconies have already been done now, and you can see that they are all uh, right there. So the last thing we're going to do is work on um, a tunnel to quickly escape from the castle um, out of one side, because currently, if we need a, if there needs to be an escape from castle 2 currently we can't actually do that so we need to go ahead and see if we can uh, sort that out and i found the perfect candidate to make something that looks rather inconspicuous and that is uh, this little rock right here because uh with this rock what we can do is we can carve out a uh, we can carve out something into it and then use that as an escape route which i think would be pretty really uh, pretty cool actually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down some of this rock and it's a good thing that i've got some extra gravel as well because uh by having this we can have like a little we have a little escaping, a little escaping tunnel, and we can then make a little pathway inside the castle. So let's see if we can do, see if we can dig through this rock a bit, and just make, uh, make at least a start on this. I don't know if we're going to get this done completely in this episode, but let's see if we can. Okay, so I might need to make some extra stuff to complete this out, but I want to have like a, kind of a. A stone layer on the inside, so like made a flagstone on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and mine each of these ones out here. So as I said, this might open up the rock a little bit, but we can uh, we can craft extra stone to replace it. And I was thinking we're gonna put some gravel on it as well, just to add to it. So yeah, it's uh, I've dug into it a little bit too much, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna put some gravel on it just to kind of make it look like it's you know more of a rock again. And then I'll replace eventually I'll replace it with some stone later. So for now, this will do. So yeah, it's now a very, a very Swiss cheese looking rock, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll sort that in a sec, right? So hopefully that's going to be enough so that we can start doing the escape stuff, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, let's get some flagstone right here. I think I hear a zombie somewhere out there. But we're going to build up um, a quick layer of flagstone inside this thing. We're gonna have like some kind of a, some kind of little escape route or something like that that's gonna be coming out of here. So essentially, we'll have a, I think what we're gonna do is have like a trap door there, and then we'll have like an escape tunnel. But we need to uh, obviously disguise it a little bit better. So let's get the gravel again, and we're gonna just kind of put this back around. So let's do that. So we can do right. So it's coming out to it's coming out like this far. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and, and hide the flagstone with some extra gravel. So we'll put that on the outside. And it doesn't look too unnatural to have gravel there, so I think that's going to look uh, pretty good once it's done. Let's go ahead and do this, um, and then we can always add. We can always add little touches here and there as we need to. So we're just going to patch it out with some gravel for now. How's it looking? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yep. Is there any more exposed stone? Yeah, there's a little bit of exposed, exposed face right there. Okay, how's that looking? That's that's looking pretty good. So then we're going to round out the the front of it a little bit. Like this, so let's go out and let's go out and do that. And then we need to build one there and one there, and I think that'll be fine. And let's go ahead and just add a little bit of extra gravel on the top, just to make it look a little bit less uh, a little bit less square. So we're trying to make like a, trying to make like a mound of sorts. Okay, let's add like two. How do I want to do this? One, two... Just trying to get a, a good shape on this thing. Um, how's it looking? Is that looking kind of natural? Yeah. Looking good, looking pretty good, actually. So there we go. So now we have like a little hole right there. And uh, this is going to be where our escape tunnel is. And we can build it um, out here. Now, I think that piece of rock is about to uh, about to break right there. Or it looks like it's close to breaking. So I'm going to take that one out. And then I'm going to replace that with... Another piece of thing, another piece of flex in there. Oh yeah, the gravel. The gravel doesn't want to support that, does it? Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Uh, Structural integrity of gravel is not that great. So yeah, we're gonna have to probably be a little bit careful with that. But there we go. Now we have a little area for an escape tunnel. And the thing is, like when you're running in like this, you know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna come into the castle this way. You're, you're just gonna see a rock, right? You're, you're gonna be more concentrated on running in here. You'll be like, yes, and then you're gonna you know run straight over that. And the cool thing is as well, um, the zombies will just fall in, especially in this part. The zombies will just fall down there. So it should make a pretty safe escape if uh, if all hell breaks loose. We we should have a pretty safe escape route uh, straight through here. And I don't think the zombies can actually get through there because I can't actually run through that. So that might actually make it a little bit tougher for uh, the zombies to as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start digging down 
into the dirt layer here and we're going to go ahead and see if we can make ourselves um, an escape room now i'm not sure how low we're going to need to dig so i'm going to probably just make the make the best of it and say i'd say about 10 i'd say about 10 to 20 i'd say about yeah 10 10 maybe 15 at maximum we're going to need to dig down so we're going to try that so let's just uh, yeah let, let's keep to 15 see if that works three four Because I think the castle is kind of on the stone layer here. So we're going to dig down that far. Yeah, we're going to dig about there. So we're going to try 10, and then we can always uh, we can adjust the tunnel as we go. So let's go and start digging out this way. I'm going to work on this escape route. Because it's going to be... Once this is done, I think it's going to be pretty nice. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to dig outwards again like this. So that we can go ahead and build up a layer of flagstone as well. So we can go ahead and do that while we're under the ground. Okay, there we go. So we've done that bit. So then we can start digging up here. Because before we can uh, put the ladder in, we've got to build uh, the flagstone layer. Which is going to go up the top there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can start building a, start building our way up with a ladder as well. So that's that one. And then we need to dig into this side. Here we go. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Good. Okay. Good so far. Okay, let's do the same on that side as well. So let's do the stone layer first, and then we'll do the dirt. And I mean, this could even make a mini mine as well, which would be quite cool. Um, okay, let's do that, and then we're going to have um, to dig up on the dirt side as well. So let's do that really quick. So start digging up this way. Okay, there's four, and then we're going to do... Hopefully it's not going to cause the rock on top of us to collapse. It shouldn't do. I think it'll be okay. If it does, we've got nowhere to run. <laughs> wouldn't it be wouldn't it be funny though if it did collapse? I I I think that'd be absolutely hilarious. I think you guys would love that. <laughs> it was like, yeah, this guy this guy made uh, the stretch integrity tutorial, and you know, he just sent his whole his whole castle collapsing on his on his on his head. You know, I think that'd just be that that'd just be pretty funny. I reckon. Okay. Oh, okay. So we need to do one more there, and then we can build a ladder. Let's build it as high as we can go, then we'll make a ladder and dig some more. Okay, let's do a ladder here. That should be fine, so let's get some ladders. Ladder. There you go, so let's get three. So let's get, I think we're going to need like 15. We may need, may need more, may need less. But yeah, we can we can adjust the tunnel to the height that we need it. So that's going to be absolutely fine. Then we'll probably have it coming into, um, probably have it coming into somewhere. Um, in the main castle, so we'll see. We'll see where that's going to go. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to link it up yet, but I do want to make a start on this at least. So let's go ahead and start building up here. Let's at least get the ladder shaft done, because ladder shaft, of course, is the main bit, and then we can just work off the rest of it from that. Okay, so let's build this one up. There we go, and then we can build this one up like this. There we go. So now we've got these done. And let's go ahead and build the rest of the flagstone. And then we should be able to put the ladder up here and uh, make our way back up to the top again. Which should work quite nicely. So how's that doing? Right, so these guys. And then we just need to do these last ones over here. So there we go. All done. Right, so then all I need to do is go ahead and uh, ladder this thing up. Okay, there we go. So that works. Let's go ahead and build this out all the way to the top again. Okay, where is ground level? Right, ground level is there. So I need to go probably this high. I'm not sure if I want that one flagstone. That might make it too obvious that there's like an escape route there. So I'll probably leave that one and I should be able to walk off from that bit. There we go. So now I have like an escape tunnel, which is pretty cool. Let's add a, uh, let's add a hatch as well, just to keep that in place. Because at least we can, uh, we can actually put the hatch down to uh, allow us some access. So let's go ahead and do that. Right. So let's go ahead and grab a hatch, and we're going to put it. We're going to put the hatch this way, and that kind of looks weird. So let's get a uh, let's get like a let's get a plate. Actually, that's probably the best thing I can do. Um, so a wooden plate. So wooden wooden plate, maybe. Uh, let's have a look and see if I can do that. Wooden plate, is it? Why, why are you no give me plates? Okay, hang on. Let me just let me just type plate. That'll probably do it. There you go. Wood, wood plate, there we go. Wood plate, there we go. It's not wooden, it's wood. There we go. That makes sense. I have one wood plate. Then we can go ahead and add that, like, right there. 
Oh, actually, that, that looks really good. That meshes in with the terrain. Re look at that. That meshes in really well with the terrain. You just about notice that as you come in. Yeah, that works. And then we got this. And then we can come down in this gate tunnel and uh, make our way straight down here. So then we're going to start digging towards the castle, which uh, it's going to give me some much needed stone anyway. So let's go ahead and start digging along this way. As Grinny would say, we're going to start diggling. <laughs> I thought that was absolutely hilarious uh, when, when we were doing uh, Necropolis. That was brilliant. So if you guys haven't seen uh, Gnome on Necropolis, um, yeah, it's, it's a really fun mod. I recommend it. Like, I really recommend it. It's so good. Okay. Okay, so how are we going here? So yeah, we're, we're now just going to start digging towards this way in the castle. And hopefully, we're going to be able to um, dig along underneath the moat and then we'll be pretty much inside the walls and then we can just pretty much come back up and go from there we might actually link up with saber's dungeon this way but i'm gonna try i'm, I'm gonna try not to link it into sabers if we can avoid it because i'd rather have it so that we go under the castle completely and then we can go from there so we're gonna start digging along here and then we're gonna make this little uh make this little escape tunnel down this way so let me go ahead and uh, do a little bit of digging get this all finished off and uh, then once I've uh, found an area that I want to dig it to I'll be right back alrighty guys I'm back and it's much later on in the day but I've had a stroke of genius well kind of um, what I've done is I've managed to link up the escape tunnel to the king's chambers in the castle and I did this I think without compromising any of the structural integrity of the of the build which I'm really really happy with so uh, essentially you you saw at the start of the episode that we've done uh, this so far and uh, we had like a walk-in uh, a walk-in closet well I thought why don't we have the escape tunnel right here because obviously the the most important person to defend in the castle is the royalty right so they you know they would be the most that you know uh, uh, whatever happens the royalty must live so if uh, if the uh, the king or queen needs to escape from the castle then we are going to want a, a tunnel so you know the the, mo the, mo the most the uh, most the most likely place they could get caught and say if there's uh, say if their guards got assassinated outside their chambers and they were in here this they you know they're they're cornered if they if they come into here so what we're gonna have to do is obviously make an escape for the royalty and uh, obviously anyone else who manages to uh, to flee through here so we've gone ahead and done it here so we're gonna call this um, of course a, uh, the reckless um, uh, we're gonna call this uh, the reckless escape tunnel there we go Cool. So this is uh, this is for you, Reckless Devil, as well. This is your uh, Reckless Escape Tunnel. We still got a couple of things to do. So let me actually add um, an arrow slit here. So just to keep it um, just to keep it like in keeping with what we've got so far. Um, so we'll add an arrow slit right there. I don't know actually if the sign is going to take up a block space. Um, let me see. That might do actually. I, I kind of wanted a I kind of wanted the arrow slit there. So I might have to have a, a door in front of it instead, which might make it kind of more obvious. But mm. I'll see if I can. Uh, maybe um, I know Valmod has auto walls, so maybe if I can make it like with a with a with a draw or something like that, then maybe we can like mod that in real really quickly just to you know have that have that going for us. But there we go. Um, okay, so what was I going to put down? The flags and arrows, right? Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've gone ahead and done all the digging and uh, most of the block placement as well. So we're going to have that there. So there we go. So we've got the reckless escape tunnel right there. So it's it's uh, it's not immediately obvious when you enter the room that there's going to be an escape here. So it's only like when you come around here, you know, we could always uh, put something in front of this as well just to make it a little bit less obvious. So I could go ahead and put like a plate here that then we can, you know, walk through to be able to get to it. But here we go. I'll show you how it works and you'll get to see how it is. So essentially, there is a huge long drop down there. But if we go down here, this is a one-way escape tunnel. So you're going to drop down here, then we can run all the way out here. Now, this took me a fair bit of approximation, but it actually worked out really, really well because um, I started digging this way and I started digging that way, and uh, I actually managed to get it to, to work like this. So we managed to get it to come through here, and this is actually going right under the moat of the castle right here. So this is actually the, the moat of the castle. Plus, we could actually probably build something under here, which might be quite cool. Um, so we've got a moat under there, and then we've got the exit to here, and then we've got the escape tunnel right there. Got the trap door. Put that down. Lo and behold, we have escaped and we can flee. So if, uh, if all hell breaks loose, 
we now have an escape tunnel which is going to take us uh, outside the castle. Now, uh, the fog has cleared, but now, of course, it's really, really rainy. So the weather is uh, just as bad, but in a different way. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of typical right there. Okay, guys. Well, I think, though, we are at a pretty good point to end off the episode. So, uh, Reckon Settable, I hope you enjoyed the uh, build. If you happen to see it, I'll let Happy Balloon know as well, just so you can uh, come and have a look. And I hope you enjoy this, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. So, until then, bye!